My name is Alex Hughes, and today we're going to go through the process of working with Circle Trust in L8. The following tutorial applies to all versions of L8, and the version we're using here is an L8 uh, Unlimited Edition, but it applies to all versions. So, let's begin. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to bring in, obviously, some trust. So, if we go into Room, and we go into Browse 3D Model, We'll find some truss, and we've got some nice circles here. I reckon we'll go for the uh, four meter flat truss one, and we'll give it a little bit of height as well. So we'll uh, chuck it about there, and then we'll go into DMX, and we'll add some lights. So let's look up our uh, fixture library. Let's add in some Sharpies. So we'll bring in some Sharpie vectors, and we want to set the height so that it's correct to the truss. And then what we want to do is we want to duplicate the amount that we'll need on the truss. So I'm going to put 8 on this truss. Super simple. 8 on the truss. And then we're going to go greater than 360. And this is just so that they're all sort of panned around. So that we've uh, when we bring them out, they work correctly. Then we're going to chuck them on a 90 degree angle. And we're going to actually go into our focus tool. And we're going to use the depth and center option. To depth and center them out. So that they're... Uh, Coming out from the middle, and we'll just uh, we'll just change our view a bit, just to see that we yep. So we need to come out just a little bit more. So we'll go back into our utility here, and we'll bring them out a little more, and then we'll uh, drop the y-axis, and we'll bring them up like so. And I think I may, yep, yeah, so I put too many in. Seven, uh, seven works around the, uh, the shape that I've got here. But what we've now got is we've got a circle truss all set up with the lights ready to go. If we didn't want to have them all facing in different directions, what we can do is we can just reset this rotation back and the problem goes away. And that's simply it. That's working with circle trusses. Nice and simple. Just a nice little trick to get you up and running and getting your circle truss objects aligned so that you can get nice little uh, beam looks. Thanks for watching.